What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hammerstein and today we'll be doing a speed ramp temperature and a Geekbench test between two GT phones over here. In the first corner, we have the POCO X3 GT, this is the latest from POCO and inside here you do have the Dimensity MediaTek 1100 and also this one here does come with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner here, we have another GT phone and this is the Realme GT and inside here, you do have your Snapdragon 888, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. So before we start anything, let's check out the temperature that we are in right now. In the room, it is at about 26.4 and for the phones, 33.7, 33.2. So a little bit of difference over here. And the first thing we're going to do is boot up these two phones and see which one would start out faster. So normally, Xiaomi phones, including the Poco, do have a very fast boot up. Let's see over here if you can beat the Realme GT who has beaten the Mi 11. Both of these two phones have been charged up to 100%. Alright, so the Realme GT beats the X3 GT. Alright, let's see which one would start up faster. Let's check out the calendar over here. Already set up on the Realme GT. Whereas on the X3 GT, it does take some time. Both of these two phones, like I mentioned, have been charged up to 100%. And in terms of the brightness, both of them have been maxed out. And also in terms of the refresh rate as well, both of them are running at 120Hz. On both of these two phones, all apps have been closed before we start any of these tests. These are the apps that we are going to check out today. Alright, so let's check out the temperatures here as well. 34.3, 34.6. So alright, let's start up this speed test. Do note that also both of these two phones have been connected to the same Wi-Fi and location is on. Every other form of connection is disabled on both of these two phones. Alright, the Realme GT here with the X3 GT very close behind. Okay, next up here, Pokemon Go. Pretty neck and neck and let's see which one i think the realme gt is ahead of the x3 let's go to the next one youtube all right very close indeed next one here instagram about the same i would say okay let's go to pubg mobile Okay, looks like the Realme GT is having a slight lead over here. And yes, it's ahead of the X3 GT, but not much at all. Very impressive from the X3 GT. Both of these two phones are regarded as a flagship killer. So let's check out the temperatures over here. 35.5. 35.9 so things are getting hotter over here so things are getting hotter over here next up chrome okay i think the x uh, sorry i think the real me next up facebook okay real me again let's go to shopee okay about the same i would say youtube music okay real me and then let's go to the settings. Realme again. Let's go to Manchester United. Okay, Realme GT with the X3 just right behind it. Premier League. Seasons back, the only time that Arsenal is on top. Okay, pretty similar on both phones. Netflix. Okay, pretty similar I would say, maybe the Realme. Next up, the camera app. Okay, and let's see which one switches faster. Okay, I think about the same speed. Next up, TikTok. All right, so nice content over there. Okay, and then let's go to Twitter. Okay, real me, I think we're just slightly ahead. Okay, let's go to the Play Store. 
all right so very very similar indeed when it comes to the performance really not much difference at all let's check out the temperature 36.2 here 36.1 so very similar in terms of the temperature so right now we're going to do a ram test so we're going to check out pokemon go a refresh here on the x3 gt okay let's check out genshin impact over here uh refresh on the x3 again with the realme holding up very very well let's go to youtube Again, a refresh on the X3 GT. Maybe it's because of the game mode. Next up, PUBG Mobile. Again, a refresh here, which is a pretty disappointing from the X3 GT. Of course, this one, 12 gigs of RAM and here, 8 gigs of RAM. Let's check out Twitter. This one is all good. Let's check out Manchester United. Okay, not too bad. Let's go to Premier League. Again, not too bad i would say on both of these two phones because here you do have a better ram on the realme gt so next up we're going to test out the gpu on both of these two phones all right so for this gpu test i am using inshon instead of adobe rush because for some reason the x3 gt does not enable me to do that both of these two phones will be exporting this at 4k at 30 fps so one two three let's go Okay, pretty close. Alright, the Realme GT with the X3 GT just right behind it. So yes, very impressive in terms of the GPU performance on both of these two phones. Alright, so now we're going to run the Geekbench test on both of these two phones here. Snapdragon 888 here, MediaTek 1100. Let's check out the temperatures, 36.4, 36.3, not much difference at all. So 1, 2, 3, let's go. Okay, so we are at the halfway mark, so the Realme GT is definitely ahead of the X3 GT over here. Battery wise, it has gone up to 99%, over 100%. Of course, this one here, 5000 milliamp battery, here, 45 plus milliamps of battery. So I'll see you guys at the end where we get the results. Alright, so we are done here with the Realme GT coming with an, an impressive score of 1140 and a multi-core score of 3165. Well, over here on the X3 GT is taking some time in terms of the temperature, 37.6. So definitely it's getting a little bit hotter over here. Let's give some time for the X3 GT to finish over here on the right. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be done here with the X3 GT, significantly behind. So, single core score of 713, so it's very similar to maybe the 860 or the 865, which we are going to test out with the X3 Pro, and a multi-core score of 2782. Alright, so let's just move this back and let's run a compute test between both of these two phones. One, two, three, let's go. Okay, so we are done here with the Realme GT 4625. Let's check out those temperatures 39.2. So let's check out over here with the X3 GT again behind from the Realme. So let's wait for it. And okay, in terms of the score, not much difference at all. Temperature wise, much more manageable compared to the Realme GT. Alright, so that is it when it comes to the score. So as we can see here, in terms of just everyday performance, both of these two phones are very, very similar. But of course, when it comes to this kind of test, the Snapdragon 888 would outperform the MediaTek Dimensity on the X3 GT. So if you guys find this video helpful and also want to see more of these type of videos, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and so here on YouTube at Dr. Hammerstack. So that is it. This is Dr. Hammerstack. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.